What's up, Zem? Not much, man. Just a uh, long day at the Illyria Holiday Duels. Eric Burnett put together a killer ev- event with Coach Gillespie and Coach Shedlaw. They did a really good job in Illyria. And I guess the story for me was Brexville went 5-0. and Vic Boinovich uh, smashed everybody. Probably two best matches of the day. 182 was a loaded field. Uh, every guy was a top 10 guy, whether it was division one, two or three. And um, I can just tell you this, uh, Broski from Dublin Kaufman, Kaufman mm-hmm. he's the fourth ranked guy in division one. I believe he went two and three. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah. Yeah. So he might've actually been one and four. <sighs> So if you give us one match to watch, right? Because they're all on Ohio Cast, right? Yes. One match. Evan what, what? Evans Perrine. Evans Perrine. Um, Perrine. Well, Perrine went five and zero, right? A bunch of one. Yeah, Perrine beat. He beat Hivner and he beat Evans, and they were both caliber, uh, college caliber matches mm-hmm. in the sense that there were three two matches, both of them, but Perrine got the only takedown in both of them. And the one, the takedown he got on Hibner was in a scramble. It was off of his leg attack. And uh, Cole Hibner from Lake Catholic's real good at dive rolling and scrambling. Right. And uh, Sal Bryan is just like a, like a bona fide athlete, like a really good athlete. He's uncommitted. Whereas um, Evans, who he beat from malaria, is going to Indiana. Right. And then uh, Hibner is going to Pitt. So, so right. he's a really good guy. And then he, and he technical fall, uh, Broski. Jeez. Oh, I couldn't believe it. And then, yeah, I mean, Evans and Broski was a 2-0 match. Oh, and then Rizzo. Rizzo from uh, Braxville is tougher than Nails, too. Mm-hmm. He was there. Uh, Rizzo and Perrine was 17-14. Barn burner, huh? <laughs> so is that, is that so, your match? So Perrine. Sal Prine, anything okay. Sal Prine, if his name's on a match, go watch it. Sal Prine, Tech Fall Broski, 17 14 with, uh, with Rizzo of Braxville. So anything that has Sal Prine's name attached to it, go watch Good the check. match. Who, uh, yeah, any surprises for you? Kind of like you know the name, but they uh, had a day besides Kel- that. Kelvoinovich, Kelvoinovich to Nate Burnett had a, a, a fleeing okay. the mat hole that came down to. Nate's the number one guy in Division One. Nate Burnett. He's going to Clarion. It's Eric's son. Mm-hmm. Um, that match was a 3-2 match, and it was decided – or it was a 2-1 match decided on a uh, fleeing the hold call. And then Kel Wojnovich almost took him down. Kel Wojnovich is a freshman. Right, and he wrestles a lot, a lot different than Vic, right? I mean, two totally yes. different styles. He was down by five against Dublin Kaufman and hit a blind cradle to pin the guy in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> He's a cradle guy, right? I remember you. Yeah, he's a cradle guy. guy State, he did the double leg cradle, right? He double leg cradled uh, Maddox Simcoe. Oh, geez. In the finals. He double leg cradled him. It was wild. So, you know, Kale Voinovich is just a real exciting brand uh, of wrestling. He's a freshman. Vic, obviously, is a senior. Um, Mm -hmm. He committed a bunch of felonies this weekend. (laughs) Uh, Mungia, Mungia of uh, Illyria, obviously, just a freak, total hammer. And, um, Evans and Hibner did not wrestle, and that was disappointing at 182. But man, 182 is worth the price of admission. Right. <laughs> Sal Perrine came out on top, and then talking to him in a real good interview with Sal Perrine, you know, obviously he's excited. He had just walked off the mat from beating Hibner. And, you know, he beat Hibner and Evans, I want to say Brown back to back. And then technical fall Broski. So Jeez. he's obviously got to be your number one right now. Him or Hudson Hightower. So in division one, 182, which is a great weight anyway. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. And Todd Haverdell and his team were five and oh, and Todd's mm-hmm. always great to talk to. And he really gives you a lot of insight on his guys and how the season's going and his interview is pretty good. So anything, Sal Perrine, watch it from uh, Illyria holiday duels, Nate Burnett, Kel Voinovich. And yeah, if it's got Sal Perrine on it, watch it. I will put the, we'll put the links in the show notes athlete. here. So yeah, people he, he's incredible. Right it. And um, division one, 182 is going to be a party. You know? right. It's going to be a party. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. So it was awesome. Nice. It was, it was great wrestling and uh, don't count the broski guy. And don't count uh, Rizzo out. Rizzo is tough too from Brexville. So broski's from Kaufman. Oh, Seth Shoemate. Seth Shoemate. It's like he's a horse, right? It's like video game. 
Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know how he's, he's, he's throwing guys who are running away from him. He's got to be, I mean, it, next year, this time, right. He's, he's got to be just ready to get to that, get to Ohio state. Right. Yeah, but he's, he's a he's, junior. Right. So, I mean, a year from now, imagine a year from now, right. He's going to yeah, be a I can't video imagine, game yeah, now. What he might be yeah. bored. Right. If he, yeah, I mean, he, like the best way I can compare him is he wrestles a lot like Ian Miller. Mm. He's like that at 195 pounds. Right. Imagine Dude. someone that explosive and athletic at 195 pounds. And that is just, I think you're looking at a multiple time, you know, barring injuries and other things that can happen, but talent wise, multiple time national champion talent. There's no and question. He's a 197, right? He'll be a 197. He'll right? be a one. He's a life at 197. Mm-hmm. He's shorter than I am. Okay. I couldn't believe it. And he wrestled, mm-hmm. he split at 95 and 220, but we didn't get to see him and Ben Vanadia hit either, but hey, whatever, that's how it goes. But anything shoemate, anything Perrine, they're electric factories, man. They wrestle hard and they're going to be really good in college. Both of them, I think. So nice. Yeah, cool. it was awesome. Illyria, Howdy Duels, Eric Burnett. They were three and two. Kaufman's got a great team coach, uh, Chance Van Gundy. And they're young, they right? They got some young, young guys too. They're right? young. He's got a bunch of freshmen. The Ayub brothers are back next year. We got a freshman and a junior in the Ayubs. The Ayubs are really tough. Uh, Brusky's back. Yeah, they got everybody back. I don't know if they lose a ranked guy. What's crazy about the Brusky thing is he is Shoemate's main workout partner, is what Shoemate said in the interview. Um, and then they got to bring other college guys in and work with Shoemate because, you know, Shoemate's a horse, man. Right. He's just a mutant. And Broski getting attacked by Perrine is just like, that blew my mind. I couldn't process that, man. Mm-hmm. I couldn't I couldn't process it. And then I went back and watched it, and he, he horsed him. He put it on him, and it was, wow. Wow, yeah, was I impressed. Just, you probably don't get to watch some of them. I mean, you watch them, but you can't kind of digest them, right, when you're watching them? No, it's just, really hard to because I'm running around checking right. cameras because mm-hmm. we did. Mark Neiman came. Sean Penn came. They helped out a lot. They do great work. They're inside the circle. Mm-hmm. Follow inside the circle and Mark Neiman and Sean Penn, if you can. They they're they're really good guys they out of Columbus. Kill it. Yeah. They kill it, man. They showed up. We had Joe Williamson gave us uh, his live feed nice. on Grow Wrestling. I might use uh, an OAC live feed one of these times. So, right. Well, you can use Try it. Try to figure it all out, man. Put Give right. people live wrestling, you know, rather than the old school. Right. Right. What, you, it. what are you hearing for like state duels and state uh, OHSA? I mean, are you going to be able to cover those or how are those going to work? Have you heard any? I have not. I couldn't tell you, Jared. Nobody knows. Right. Uh, I, I know. reached out to, yeah, I reached out to Kent State's SID. It's all Portage County uh, Board of Health. Josh Moore has no idea if I can get into the Cleveland State ones or not. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a. I'm doing a Lake Erie College one coming up here. Actually, okay. I'll be in the building for that. Um, the Kent State ones I could do from the balcony. It wouldn't bother me. I, I'll do it from the balcony. I don't need to do post match interviews. I can zoom them if I need to. Right. So right. set up um, a camera those, and they hit a zoom. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. I'll zoom them. I'll zoom those guys, and they can put those guys with a SID. And you know, they hey, Kent State's not going to App State this weekend. Um, it's supposed to be a quad tomorrow with I Citadel, heard. UVA, and Kent State and App State. And it it uh, Kent State canceled, so now it's just going to be. UVA, App State, Citadel, and then UNC Campbell had to cancel. Right. And it's, UNC uh, had cases too. Gardner Webb, I think, picked up Campbell. Bulldogs. Right? Yeah. 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 So, so crazy stuff, man. Uh, it's just wild, Jared, out there. It's wild right now. Uh, Illyria did a heck of a job with their event, though. And was it that's two the gyms? Thing was I've it seen. Two gyms then? Two gyms. Yeah. Gym? Two gyms. Illyria has an ox gym. The ox gym, ox gym had some great wrestling in it. You know, they didn't just put all the back bad ones on there like the first one i did live was late catholic dublin kaufman and there were some great matches up and down there shoemate gave up the first takedown against late catholic and then uh, went uh one hulk smash on the guy <laughs> nice. he's got a great double leg like he's got the lat drop and he's got the inside trip you know the ooze and the oz mm-hmm. but he's got a great double leg Seth shoemate is just and his interview is pretty good too i, th- I mean he's a kid you know it's some mm-hmm. of these kids have never talked to people and it's nice to talk to him and let him, you know, kind of help him, you know, help him well, figure out because right? he's, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of interviews in his future. Let's just put it that way. Right. And that, and you get in the camera in front of him and ask him questions kind of. Yeah. Get some, yeah, the only way I to get you need to, good on the mic, right. Is, is get in front yeah, of him. Right? No, yeah. You got it. You got it. You got to learn. And, and uh, maybe it might not be his best interview, um, but it, you know, it's a good start for him doing interviews and cause he's going to have a team of people. He's going to have a whole team of media well, people in front of him. Well, you got Logan really Sieber, nice right? When he, him and uh, 
Hunter when they're like Dude, 15, Hunter. right? Yeah. I mean, look at yeah, you know, 14 now, and 15, I think. Yeah, looking back, back in, at those, you know, they, they, they yeah. got to learn somewhere, right? Yeah, they got to start somewhere. And Seth's a nice kid. He's awesome. And it was a good interview, actually. I thought he did a good job. And um, talking to uh, Mungia, Mungia is a killer for, for Eric Bernat and Illyria. And mm -hmm. just awesome to watch a lot of future one D1 talent, D2 talent. I love it. D3 talent all throughout the gym, man. It's just really good wrestling to watch. And because that's going to be really impressed me. That's going to be the best really wrestling till duels, yeah. right? Yeah. Kaufman, Dublin Kaufman really impressed me, man. I was like, yeah, Dublin Kaufman's for real. They have a good team, man. They have a great team. Great team so right? yeah, really impressed with them. So yeah, it was, it was, it was good all around. Though. I, had a, good. I had a good time. Good. I visited our buddy, uh, Josh, a couple of days ago, got to see the BA center. It's kind of nice. Did you, were you like a, like a wild deer trying to get in? Right. Did no. you want to be in the BA center so bad that you were, you were running into the door? I asked them that. I'm like, where did the heck did the deer come? I mean, cause he's, he's like behind a BW threes and a hobby lobby and, uh, um, you know, all kinds of restaurants. Like where did this thing come from? You know, it's, it's not like he's butted up to woods like you up in Sugar and Falls or something. It was like, what yeah, the yeah. So, um, Auburn Township to be exact. Oh, excuse me. You got to watch me. with the Sugar and Falls, uh -oh, man. Uh -oh, People want to get, uh -oh. they get fighting mad out here, dude. Oh, they geez. get fighting mad. I'm not going to lie to you. I dragged brush all day. I called you. I was bonfiring today in the middle of this uh, uh, ice storm. What'd you burn? Dude, I saw you something see. blowing up. What was uh, it? Well, I had Christmas about tree? fifty branches fall. Oh, okay. 50, oh my God, that was the Christmas tree that went, went a thirty foot flame. Uh, okay. The thirty foot flame Christmas yeah. tree blew my mind. <laughs> blew my mind when I I was like, and it got hot real quick, and I was like, whoa, and I couldn't get it all in the frame, mm -hmm. and I'm backing it up like, oh my God, that fire's still going Jeez. right now. Drew was saying he's gonna do that to his Christmas tree. I was like, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I was like, you no, might have cut not. it up. So cut it up. it's not he's cut not in up. Auburn Township. It's so. not out in Auburn. No, I, but I the BA Center, the, the, the BA Center, man, it's it's pretty it's a sweet setup. Men's and women's uh locker rooms, you know, with showers in each. He has um, you know, the where the shipping receiving station, and then he has, you know, inventory, a spot for all his inventory. And then he almost has two room, you know, he has his main room and then a separate room. He has a, uh, a sauna and a salt bike, you know, rogue echo bike, whatever you call them. And then he could put up more, he has more mats down there. It's, it's, uh, it's a nice little setup, man. It, it's sweet. That's I wish, awesome. I wish I had something like that here in town. He's running the production out of there too. That is where yeah, he's yeah, running Barbarian yeah, Apparel yeah. out of. Yeah. It's funny. Cause then, and then he has his offices and his production and it's you know it's kind of reminded me growing up with my dad's place he has you know for his daughter he has his, like just to keep her you know some stuff she can do on the mat and toys and stuff it's kind of funny it's uh so he's running everything out of there it's pretty cool that's awesome Real cool. yeah that's what guy's doing with defense it's right what cliff does with compound right in, in right. mcdonough georgia it's mm -hmm. it's uh, you're you're mixing the best of both worlds on your people like those three guys i just mentioned and right. for josh to do that he had to do all this crazy stuff that uh, he had to redo the roof. Right. He, he put price six figures into the place just to get in the building code wise. Right. I called the him mats the down, on the, you know, the, the, the heater or hot water heater or something was out. He's like, yeah, just working on this, you know? So and it, he did it quick. I think they got in August and you walk in there. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's uh, you know, you know, you start a project and the guy will work on that part later. No, it's, it's painted. It's got the wall mats up. It has a signage. You walk in, you, you're walking into their, you know, store, you know what I mean? And then yeah. they're running um, open mats out of there. They're bringing, you know, athletes in, you know, so you walk in, you have the check-in area. So it, it's a nice layout, little conference room, little uh, break room, you know, for, for food, you know, I think microwave fridge and all that stuff. So it's, it's laid out nice, real nice. It's not a brick and mortar. It's not like you can no. go and buy no. and try on stuff. Right. But, I mean, he would probably work with you with the way he works. He'd probably mm -hmm. work with you on that is my, my thing. Right. If you walked in on Josh cold Turkey or guy Seiko cold Turkey, they're going to work with you. You know what I mean? Mm, Cause right. you've got the wherewithal and tenacity to show up. They're right. going to work with you and they're going to figure it out. And it's crazy with those guys. They just, they, they're problem solvers and they just get the job done. I love working with a man. Right. You got zero complaints out of me. You know that, Jared. Uh, 100%, man. 100%. I love it. And, and what was the, the biggest thing with the Barbarian Center and Josh? What was the biggest thing that impressed you? You know, it's in Cincinnati proper, right? It's actually mm -hmm. in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. Right, 
right. what about the barbarian pen, barbarian center the training center the 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 production room the warehouse everything that he has there what impressed you most about the barbarian center it, it's a small you know small business right if it's not some big huge business and he's doing it all he you know he has a couple other people you know it's him and his wife and like i said you know getting in in august and it's up and going and he's having athletes coming right they use it for the rtc cup they had the athletes in there working out he's bringing in um james green i think this month you know lauren was just yeah w- was just there so he's you know as a small business doing it all like i said the one time calling him he's working on this or whatever it may be and he's he's getting it done you know it's it's you know it's, he's doing a lot of himself you know and it's it's pretty cool when you see that happen and you know especially times like this you know a small business going after and just making a commitment to the sport and to what he does so it's pretty cool to see that so definitely i mean josh does it he does he goes big i like it mm-hmm. he does things right and that's why i deal with them that's why that's why you know i'm rocking the, right. rocking it it's the show i don't have that's my fine. water bottle with me i got the stickers i got the roll of stickers i should have right. brought you some yeah well, i'll see you next week i'll get, get you some. but yes yeah. let's talk about next weekend yeah. what's going on yeah. next weekend jared uh it's uh we call it the house top town uh the next saturday sunday so we have uh two youth division you know, we have a youth division on saturday um it's not your novice they'll step up from that but there's you know and then saturday the, the youth um you know more experienced kids you know your your state state qualifier state placers are on sunday we got a, a middle school you know right now there is some school wrestling going on at the middle school level where there's some kids that don't have that option so um or they're you know club based so we have a, a junior high division on saturday um so we'll see man we're getting you know it's had a really good interest uh, on it and, you know, entries are rolling in right now. So we're super excited. So yeah, Josh is coming up for that. So, so he'll be there with all his gear and uh, really looking forward to that. So what is the actual uh, name of the event and where's the event going to be held Jared? We're back. It's back at Cedar point. So Ohio's top talent is what we're calling the Sunday event. Um, and then the junior high on Saturday is Ohio's top eight. So we're just doing eight man brackets for the junior high, you know, um, you know, get some matches in. And then uh, the future talent is on Saturday. Ohio's future talent, what we're calling the youth, uh, you know, the, the up and coming guys. So, so three separate tournaments, essentially. Uh, we have a girls division also on Saturday. Um, so um, this is called Ohio's top talent, you know, trying to kind of separate the kids a little bit, let them get some matches here in January. And, and then we're on to February, hopefully um, we'll see. So Ohio's top talent, mm-hmm. It's going yeah, it's Cedar to be Point, right? Cedar Point, January ninth and tenth. Yep, and January ninth and tenth. Yep, and we're on the front side as we were. Uh, I know we were in the front. Guy was in the back. We we're back on the front. So nice layout. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, plenty of distance to social distance. Right. Masks are required. Temperature check at the door. Mm-hmm. Barber and apparel will be there. I'll be there. Right. And I'm excited about it. Uh, right. Might be good to call all the finals on one mat. We're going to see if we can make that work, right? Right. We'll definitely get you calling some matches. Uh, I'd like to do that. Last time you didn't get to do that. Um, we'll see how that works. We'll be on track wrestling. So, but we want to get you behind the mic. That, I mean, watching you at Pitt, that was cool to hear you have back. I mean, because it had been a minute, right? Calling some matches. When's yeah, the last time I, before I, that? That I call the match? Like, like, uh, like that. Like that setting, right? Kind of like a continuous match, right? yeah it was that was crazy fast yeah that was like but have you like called any matches seat. though but ha- yeah have you called matches i mean because at defense you're kind of running around I called right? defense soap man i called the finals for defense soap mm-hmm. i called the finals for national middle school duels okay okay yeah so i've called yeah i've called somebody yeah, i get yeah. what you're thinking because it's been such a long layoff yeah mm-hmm. i called some matches. i'll tell you what a match i called the two two uh the number one uh, 120 pounder in division two, Brendan McCrone from Lake Catholic, him mm-hmm. and the number two division one guy, Caden Jet uh, rolled. That's good a good one. match. It's a high quality match. Brendan okay. McCrone dominated him. The, the Lake Catholic guy, Brendan McCrone, you can see why he's the number one guy in division two at 120 pounds. He is a hammer on top. He smashed everybody all day. That guy's really good. And Caden Jet's really good. Right. He's no slouch. Todd right? Haverdell's got a really good team. Todd Haverdell's got a great team. And the division one race is going to be, it is going to be so much parody between St. Edward, uh, Wadsworth, uh, obviously, uh, Brexville, mm-hmm. Kaufman, um, and, you know, Elyria, Perrysburg, Liberty's got a team. 
somebody's got to emerge out of that Columbus district. And it looks like Kaufman can do it. Kaufman's mm-hmm. got some big scores. Those two of you brothers are really tough. Mm-hmm. Kaufman could do it, man. They could do it in the central district. The last per last team to win in the central district, win a state title. Reedy. Really? Was it 87 or when was it? 87 with, okay. with, the, uh, uh, with the multiple DeSabados and Ken Ramsey. Wow. That's wild, right? Crazy, right? How wild is that? Wrap your brain around that. Been a minute. It's nuts. Yeah, go check that Macron, uh, Macron, Caden, Jet match. Pretty good. Okay. Match. There's a lot of really good matches. Yeah. I'll man. put it in and the show notes. Sal Pryan, I'll Sushi, put it in the show man. notes. Yeah, just those guys all really were really impressive, and you can see whether you know. I think we'll see Pryan be the top ranked guy, but just impressive. Mm-hmm. The right. the wrestling, the level of wrestling in high school at, at uh, the duels, the Larry Holiday duels was impressive. And, and Marion Pleasant stepped up and they took some lumps, but they got some experience. Yeah, Coach Robinson's Look a good, those guys. he's a good dude, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah they I've did a good known job. him for years. They did a good he's, job he's, they battled. he's a good dude. So, yeah. Well, all right. National yeah. semifinal championship game. Who you got? You got Buckeyes or you got the uh, Clemson? Honestly, I haven't been, I have not been following uh, football Where's your closely, heart? but Where's my your I, heart? Ohio State. I'm Ohio State all the way. Okay. So, good. Right. Buckeyes yeah. by a million. Buckeyes by a million. <laughs> Um, they're the only team in the semifinals that has wrestling. So right, right. all the other ones can go kick rocks. Exactly. I, I'm with you on that. So with you, so. you got anything else for me? No, nah, man. Thanks, man. I'll see you soon. All right. Hey, conquer the impossible. Did you get some videos for me of Josh's place? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put, I'm going to, uh, clip it in here. Hopefully I got some, uh, okay. Get those tour, in there Cause I, I want to see him. Yeah. Cool, man. I'll t- all right, buddy. I'll hey, go bucks. Go bucks. Welcome. <laughs> so what do you call it? The Barbarian Center? What do you it's call the it? DA Center. DA Center? DA Wrestling. Okay, there. Wow. Did a lot of work in uh, a couple months. A couple months, right. Yep. I already got my wall of visitors. Nice. And they're going to have this filled soon, yeah, right? Yeah, so hopefully have this all filled. The messy little conference room right now. Baby stuff. Baby stuff. Yeah. Right. Little break room. In the there Coliseum. In the Coliseum. Nice. Got 36 by 66 with mats. Two locker rooms over here. And you got up top too, right? Up top, right? Top's basically a store. For inventory. Inventory, office, other baby room. Big playground. Yeah. Right for your, your daughter. Giant playground for the little one. Uh, and then we got a little side room, kind of my personal workout room, but it's more for a uh, smaller group. We haven't figured out what we want to do. Well, with RTC here. Cup, right? You had a couple teams in yeah, here a couple yeah. weeks ago, right? Yeah, that was so they both got to utilize it. And you had one team out here, right? Yeah. And the other they, one back here. Yeah, here the smaller ones right here. So we got a little uh, workout room. Oh, look at the bike. I go bike. Got the sauna. And then just a little more mat space for individuals. Kind of half storage right now. Oh, you guys got a lot done in a few months, huh? Yeah. Awesome. We in August. We painted all of this. Had a few refs that helped me. You guys been doing open mats a couple yeah, nights a week? Doing open Sunday mats nights? on Sundays. Yeah, that's been that's been a good turnout. Uh, we still, we tried some during the week that the schools are kind of doing their own thing. So. Right. Well, you're brand new too. It's gonna to take yeah. some time to get some bodies in here. Well, yeah, and then everything needs to kind of get back to normal, and you know, so we got James Green coming uh, later January. Is that the next app? Uh, yeah, it's the next one. Nice, nice. And then eventually, once my athletes get their schedules in order, we'll, we'll get some more of them in here. Nice. So, but, no, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect size. Yep. Got the wall mats up. Everything, right? Been a lot of fun. A lot of work done. Looks good, Josh. Thanks.